Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football. I should add, and it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course, so with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. And that gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touches as possible, but making every one of them count. I've got a feeling he's going to be a real handful for the opposition here. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Romeo. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Fernandinho. And it's Bernardo Silva. And here's De Bruyne. Crossed it. Up to meet it! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. It's up to head it! Harmlessly behind. Ederson sends that a long way. Bernardo Silva. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Forward it goes. And he's there to clear it. And the weighted pass drives it in. And that has been cleared. And now the breakaway hoists it forward. Best go. And it's played forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Bernardo Silva. What a throw in. And it's Fernandinho. Rodri. Aguero. He's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Bertrand plays it forward. Romeo. Ward-Prowse. 
No goals as yet. Looking to get within range. Oh, real danger here. Real chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Aguero tries to get it forward quickly. He's away! Laporte as well to read it and intercepts. Bernardo Silva. And here's Aguero. And it's Mandi. Mendy gets it into the middle. Fernandinho. And here's De Bruyne. De Bruyne gets it out to the wing. Walker plays it into the box. Delivery from Walker. Knocks it away. And it's been taken straight back. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Stones. Rodri. And it's Mandy. And here's Sterling. Sterling not easily shrugged off the ball. Over to the left. That's a foul. It could be a penalty. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. And he has shown him a yellow card. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? De Bruyne! Not the worst effort, Peter. It just needed a bit more fine-tuning. Walker-Peters drives it forward. Bernardo Silva. And that's been levered clear. De Bruyne goes short. Now it's De Bruyne. Has a look and plays it in. Gets good distance on it. We hit half time. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Well, to review the first half. Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start. And if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. There's the cross. And that's been won straight back. Laporte plays it forward, and it's Aguero. Out to the left it goes, and it's got through. And it's hoisted clear. Fernandinho. Chance to break. And here's Ings. Southampton have a free kick. 
Bernardo Silva. Now it's Aguero. Now it's Sterling. Just the keeper to... And Sterling! Really well taken goal. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. So we have our breakthrough. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth a treat. Fernandinho. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Romeu. Oh, good interception. Going through. In comes the... And a header! Good prowls. One. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. And it's played forward. Danger averted for now. Rodri. Kyle Walker. Now it's Ings. Ings plays it out to the flank. Lovely bit of skill. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Rodri tries to get it forward quickly. Zinchenko, shot at goal! Oh, and that should have been two. Bernardo Silva really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. <laughs> oh, that is lovely footwork. And it's Cancelo. De Bruyne. De Bruyne! It's there! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Things starting to look very comfortable. Hoists it forward. And once more, they can't get through. De Bruyne. João Cancelo. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. De Bruyne tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite 
making what looked like the right run. Stones. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Bednarek. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Laporte. Stones. Pinged forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Redmond. Walker-Peters. Ings battles to win it back. Southampton with a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. Ward-Prowse plays it short. This could be their final throw of the dice. And he just whacks it away. Swap massive leap! And with that, the final whistle. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap.